everyone and welcome back to another Mythbuster Monday. If you didn't catch the first one, you should go back to it because this is kind of going along with that one. Last week we talked about does fat make you fat? Well, this week we're going to talk about does carbs make you fat? Because that's another one people try to avoid. And if fat doesn't make you fat, it must be carbs, right? Because it surely isn't protein. So let's just get to that video. But first, I'm just going to give a little disclaimer that I've been saying new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, as the semester speeds up and gets into chaos, that is kind of unrealistic. So I'm only going to be promising new videos every Monday and Wednesday morning at 8.30 in the morning Eastern time. And then if I have time to do a vlog, full day of eating, or do some other kind of fun thing, then I will release a video Friday morning too. But that is tentative to my week and just if I have time for it. <laughs> so let's just get to Mythbuster Monday now. Does carbs make you fat? All right. so. I'm sure you've seen it out there. You've probably maybe tried it yourself as well if you've ever tried a weight loss diet, and that is a low carb diet. Do carbs make you fat? Do they make you gain weight? I think you know what I'm about to say, and the answer is no. Carbs in themselves do not make you fat, do not make you gain weight. But let's take a look as to why, and this is kind of goes along with why fat doesn't make you fat, but in a different respect. So just like fat doesn't make you fat, carbs don't make you fat, it's all about calories in, calories out, like I mentioned in my last Mythbuster Monday video. So if you're consuming more calories than you're expending um, when it comes to just your metabolism in general, and then also anything extra you do, then you're going to gradually gain weight. If you're eating less energy than you need, then you'll gradually lose weight. And energy is any macronutrient, whether that be protein, carbs, or uh, fat. So carbs in themselves, just like fat in themselves, don't make you fat or gain weight, but it's just overall total calorie intake. That being said, a calorie is not just a calorie. Say um, the same amount of carbs that you would get in an apple versus the amount of carbs you would get in a Pop-Tart. Those are not going to equally serve the same purpose in your body, if that makes any sense. Like anything that is, any like carbohydrate, like this is where I think carbohydrates get their bad rep. And that is a lot of refined or very processed carbohydrates have a lot of sugar in them. And those processed carbs and like the sugar in them are going to spike those blood sugar levels like crazy and make you have severe cravings. <laughs> like have you ever had a piece of cake or like something like a Pop-Tart or something like that? Um, and like weren't even that hungry beforehand, but then all of a sudden afterwards you're even almost more hungry. And that's just because it's spiking those cravings, spiking that blood glucose. And so that is I think why carbs get the bad rep and why a lot of people say to avoid a lot of carbs if you're trying to lose weight. Because if you're eating the wrong kind of carbs, then they're just gonna make you hungrier and make you overeat. And if you overeat, you're gonna eat, overeat on calories in total, and then you will gain weight. So, when you're eating carbs, it is good to focus on more unprocessed, unrefined carbohydrates like whole grain breads, and potatoes, and sweet potatoes, and quinoa, and oatmeal, and lots of fruit. Like, fruits have a lot of carbs in them, and I've realized after just a day or two of tracking that I eat a ton of carbs just because I eat a ton of fruit. But look, um, I'm not fat. I didn't gain a ton of weight by eating a ton of carbs because I'm eating carbs that like satisfy me and don't make me crave food on top of it. So like bananas and apples and mango and all that kind of, like all those fruits are very high in carbs, but they're very nutrient dense as well. Whereas a Pop-Tart is high in carbs but is not nutrient dense, is full of sugar, and is only probably gonna lead you to wanting more 
of that kind of food and make you overeat and all. So, Mythbuster Monday, broken, no carbs do not make you fat, no fat do not make you fat. It's kind of about all total calorie intake and that's why these different macronutrients play a different role in satiety. So carbs, if you're eating the wrong kind, are gonna make you hungrier, which is gonna lead to overeating, which is going to lead to weight gain. Just like fat, if you're eating like a lot of fatty fried foods, that's not the same as eating avocado or peanut butter. The fatty foods are gonna kind of lead you to more cravings, whereas the almonds, avocado, nut butter, seeds, all that stuff are still really high in fat, but they're going to lead to satiety or fullness and that is gonna lead you to not eat as much. And that is why protein is known as like everything in the fitness and health world because protein is just known to fill you up a lot um, and lead to that satiety or fullness level. And so that's why so many people try to do these high protein diets. But everything in moderation, like I say, like I preach on this channel always, and so Nothing in itself is bad. Fat in itself is not bad. Carbs in itself are not bad. Even like, say real dessert, like chocolate cake and ice cream and stuff like that, that is not bad. It just kind of leads to everything in moderation. If you're eating too much of any one thing or doing too much of any one thing, it's gonna lead to a not healthy lifestyle. Like even, I say like exercising too much, like that's not healthy, like eating only healthy foods and not letting yourself eat anything that's not labeled as healthy, that's not healthy. <laughs> so, Mythbuster Monday coming to a close. Hope you guys like this and yeah, let me know what you want to see next on Mythbuster Monday. <laughs> Till next time guys, see you soon. Subscribe if you aren't already. And stay tuned to the next Mythbuster Monday and a video coming Wednesday mornings as well. So click the thumbs up if you haven't already. And as I always say, you guys are awesome. I love your support and all your feedback and all your comments mean a lot to me. I read every single one. I comment back to every single one that I can. And if I'm not responding to your comments, check to see if you have your comments like privacy set because a lot of comments that I've been getting lately don't allow me to reply to them. So it's not that I don't want to reply to you, it's just that it doesn't let me. So yeah, anyways, bye. <laughs>